On the opening night last Friday, Rose Hall Jammers beat Dinos Ravens 64-60 in a close encounter, with Shamar France leading the way with 17 points, while Michael King 15 and Quasi Mikkel 13 chipped in. The Ravens saw their stars not being able to flourish as the likes of Ryan Stephanie with 11 points, Ryan Gullen 2, and Darcel Harris 6 not performing. It was Tyrone Hamid who stood out among his teammates with 22 points, 4 steals and 8 assists, which was insufficient in the end. Bounty Colts blow away half mile bulls 94-55 after Shane Webster's 18 points, Dave Cosway's 15, Dennis Nile 17 and Dane Kendall with 14 dominated the paint. Dillon Pelu scored 21 points in a vain effort for the Bulls. Victory Valley Royals then got past the Pleasant's Guardians 82-59 thanks to 20 points from Harold Adams with support from Alvin Rodney who chipped in with 18. The Guardians had only one real star in Trenton Wolford who had 14 points. Games on Sunday evening saw pace setters whipping Retrieve Raiders 85-57 with Charlene Legal truly setting the pace with 24 points, 4 steals and 6 rebounds. Kareem Roberts with his 14 points was the Raiders top scorer. Ravens won a close encounter with the Amelia Ward Jets who they beat 82 78 thanks mainly to Stephanie who racked up 30 points with 6 turnovers, 5 rebounds and 1 steal. The Jets played well on the back of Donald Benjamin who finished with 20 points. In the final game, the Royals got amends for their loss by beating the Cobras 77-55, compliments of Adams, who again starred this time with 20 points to his name, countering the Cobras' start player for the night, Travis Burnett, who netted 18. The tournament will continue on Wednesday at the Cliff Anderson Sports Hall, with more exciting clashes built for the evening starting from 19 hours. Half-mile bulls will take on Rose Hall Jammers, while pace setters face Pleasant's Guardians.